Hi, my name is Tim. I am from a company called Iconix, and we develop a, a little gateway which I can show you right in here. It's an IP to KNX gateway, inexpensive and very sexy. It takes IP in and it goes KNX out. It does power over Ethernet or you can supply it with an external power supply. This is the KNX stuff that we're controlling. KNX is the worldwide standard for home and building control. And it controls all of your lighting, heating, blinds, security, air conditioning, whatever you might have. If there's not a gateway out there, you're going to find somebody who's going to make it for you. It's 250 people manufacturing to an open standard. That's why we chose KNX. That's why we developed this gateway. What does it do? It takes all these beautiful devices, iOS, RTI, used to do Pronto. Uh, it will do Android in about two months. And it gives you, as an installer, because this is where I came from and where I got frustrated, it gives you an easy and fast way to bi-directionally connect to all of your lighting and building control that you need to control in the house. Okay? All of this is set up in the programming of the ETS, which is the software you need to configure the uh, KNX world, which is sort of like your Lutrons out there and your Dynalites out there. It does you know, everything on a bus system. Once you've done this, you go into the cloud, you configure everything on the cloud, so this configuration where you have multiple rooms, um, you set up so-called profiles, which are just like on your computer. You can have a homeowner who can control everything. You can have kitties who can only control the kids' room. You activate the profile. It takes you into the overview where you will see comprehensively what you can control. So you have your lights, you have your blinds, heating control, it could be air conditioning control. I have so-called auxiliary function, which could be security, garage, whatever, and status, feedback from the bus system. Okay? Can you control your demo from that? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's start to control the demo. I'm turning off all the lights, so this is fully bidirectional. KNX takes the commands through our gateway. Now I'm dimming it up and down. And it's been around for about 30 years, so it's not rocket science what we're doing here. But we're the good guys, so our app is for free. You can have 10 devices connected at the same time to our gateway. And because this is only for lighting control, heating control, all of this, it doesn't do AV. We also incorporated an AV controller, which is RTI, that we use. So I have this remote where I can select any activity I want. Of course, we also have the KNX activity. So if I'm changing it here, turns on the lights there. Talks fully bidirectional to all of my other devices, of course. Iron control, heating control gets the actual information from our thermostat. Crank it up, crank it down. But I can go also, let's say, Kaleidoscape. So I want to control my movies. So it's turning on the system, switching to my movies, turning on the TV. And now comes the clever bit, coming back to KNX. So now I'm starting the movie. Now I'm using the KNX switch with our gateway and the RTI controller and I skip through the tracks. So now I'm controlling the kaleidoscape, skipping through the chapters. Okay. And why wouldn't you just use your iPad for well, that? Well, because if I have a room like a bathroom where I would just want to control my radio, I don't want to have another keypad to control my radio, right? So this, if, you, if this is a bad example, I wouldn't install it if I had a TV. But if it's just an audio zone, I control my Logitech, my Sonos, my radio, internet radio, CD player, playlist, iPod dock, whatever, so you can from my KNX switch. You can control Sonos through Yes, your let KNX. me show you how we do Sonos. We go more, we go Sonos, okay? And we're now using a script by a guy called Matt from my devices from New Zealand, who has written a bi-directional script for, for Sonos, so I can pause it. It's very basic, but what it does, it does very well. Okay, so I'm saying play. So now, this is where it comes in handy if I'm now in my bathroom and I want to change. I'll just skip through my playlist, turn up the volume. Exactly. And when I'm done and I'm leaving the bathroom, it's the entertainment off and it's turning off everything for me. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Julie. And uh, we'll see you.